Hamlet lies up this bulletin. The front of his board of Taichung One Hamlet, Taichung Kimin, organized the Great National Solidarity Festival and the 92nd traditional anniversary of Vietnam Father and French Committee. Deputies of all level people's council have just met voters in Kanto City. The water level on canals in the city rises rapidly and surpasses the second warning level number 2 at 1.9 meters. Hello, and it's good to see you back here in this edition of Continues and Top News today. The front of the board of Taichung One Hamlet, Taichung Kimin, organized the Great National Solidarity Festival and the 92nd traditional anniversary of Vietnam Father and French Committee, November 18, 1930, November 18, 2022, by Chairman of Kansas City People's Committee, Nguyen Thực Hiện, came for attendance. Being the hamlet with the most Khmer residents, making up over 98% of its population, Taichung One Hamlet has mobilized locals to successfully produce three rice crops with average productivity of 5.5 tons per head, produce cash crops and marine products as set targets, with revenue reaching more than 160 million Vietnam dong one head a year. The hamlet also acted as an interester to offer loans for 85 households at a total sum of over 2 billion Vietnam dong to develop production and business. People's living conditions were improved without any poor households left. Per capita income of locals stands at over 63 million Vietnam dong a year. On this occasion, Vice Chairman Nguyen Thực Hiện presented 30 gifts to needy people, each valued at 500,000 Vietnam dong in cash. Vice Chairman of Kansas City People's Council Nguyễn Thành Đông and deputies of all level People's Councils have just met voters in communes and walls up from the suburban districts. Voters proposed deputies of the two level People's Councils such matters as difficulties in mobilizing the participation of medical insurance, concern over repairing and upgrading the deteriorated system of traffic, especially deeply inundated routes due to flood tide. In the meantime, Voters also suggested the government and city devise measures to stabilize the price of fertilizer and the supply of petroleum for production and business. In reply, deputies answered and informed more information on concerned voters' matters. Those that are beyond deputies' powers were acknowledged and conveyed to competent sectors for resolution. Permanent member, head of the Mass Mobilization Board and the Kangthar City Party Committee and deputies of the People's Councils of Kangthar City and Gairang Urban District have also contacted more than 100 voters of two wards of Hung Than and Hung Fu ahead of the year-end session of the People's Council. Voters pointed out opinions revolving around land, suspension projects, rising flood tide, improvements of students' morality, the continual change of textbooks that cause difficulties for poor people, environmental sanitation problems and epidemic control in residential areas. Deputies of the two-level People's Councils and representatives of departments and sectors gave clear answers to proposal posed by voters. The group of deputies of Kansas City People's Council of Bình Thủy Upper District also met more than 100 voters of two wards of Trà Nóc and Thới An Đông. Many voters suggest that the People's Councils of the city and district upgrade the water drainage system on Nguyễn Chí Thanh Street and lands in the area, upgrade, repair and build new traffic routes, environmental sanitation, medical insurance, among others. Deputies clarified some of the voters' opinions while acknowledging the others, which will then be transferred to authorized centers for consideration. On to the news. On November 4th morning, the Judicial Department and the People's Court of Kansas City signed the choice program on judicial assistance between the Judicial Ministry and the Supreme People's Court. The signing aims to continue consolidating, boosting the combination between the two sectors in implementing assigned tasks helping people make full and equal access to the right of being offered judicial support, thereby contributing to ensuring the equality and improving the quality of trials at the court. The joint program will be implemented in five years. Also November 4th morning, Kansas City Study Promotion Association organized a conference to publicize the plan of implementing two large-scale programs that have been approved by the government. They are the program of boosting the lifelong learning movement in families, family lives, communities and units in 2021-2023 phase and a program of building the learning citizen model in 2021-2030 phase. 
These programs aim to target 100% of cadres, members of the Study Promotion Association, to penetrate guidelines. 90% of families to be recognized the title of learning families, 60% of laborers being members of learning families, family lines, 85% of people getting the learning citizen title having digital skills. So as to carry out this target, study promotion associations at all levels, renew contents, ways of propaganda, launch the emulation movement, and increase the application of information technology and digital technology in organizing learning activities. Within the framework of Vietnam International Agriculture Fair 2022 in Kansas City, on November 4th afternoon, Kansas City's Agriculture and Rural Development Department organized the workshop on digital transformation in agriculture. The workshop was attended by leaders of chemical centers, telecommunication businesses, agricultural cooperatives, OCA product owners, typical farmers in the city, and digital technology experts. Attendees were given general information on the current situation and results of building new rural areas in Kansas City, general views on the OCA products program, five required to classify OCA products at district levels, solutions to promote roles of Vietnam Farmers Union in building new rural areas. The training aims to help cadres and members of the Farmers Union improve their knowledge of cooperation models in agricultural production and business. The Permanent Board of Kansas City's Farmers Union, in combination with the Economic Committee under Vietnam Farmers Union, have just organized a training team improving awareness and transforming brand power for member farmers on the development of agricultural economy and construction of new rural areas. More than 300 cadres and members of the Farmers Unions at the city and district levels attended the training. Attendees were given general information on the current situation and results of building new rural areas in Kansas City, general views on the OCOP products program, file required to classify OCOP products at the district levels, solutions to promote roles of Vietnam Farmers Union in building new rural areas. The training aims to help caterers and members of the Farmers Union improve their knowledge of cooperation models in agricultural production and business. Kansas City Student Board for Military Defense, Natural Disaster Control and Search and Rescue revealed that from November 3rd on the 10th of lunar October, the water level on canals in the city rises rapidly and surpasses the second one in level number 2 at 1.9 meters. On November 4th morning alone, high flood tide stood at 2.02 meters, 0.02 meters higher than the third one level. Many traffic routes in the inner and central districts of the city were inundated. It's predicted that the flood tide level on November 5th is the same. As forecast, the water level in the middle of lunar October will rise two days earlier than expected. Accompanied by rainy weather, streets can be deeply submerged. People are advised to closely watch the flood tide bulletin for a safe and proper travel plan. The National Gai Lung Festival 2021 will be held in Tân An City, Long An Province from November 5th to 20th. This is the second consecutive time Long An hosts this event and is one of contents released at a press conference on November 3rd. This type's festival has the participation of 22 professional arts troops from central to local levels, with 27 works performed by nearly 1,000 actors and actresses, more than 45% of whom are under 35 years of age. The modern theme makes up the most in 27 works. The other themes are history and folk. The opening of the festival will take place at Long An Cải Lương Arts Theatre on November 5th evening. Now, as usual, before moving to the close, let's take a quick look at the updated weather forecast. The updated weather forecast also wrapped up this edition of Continues. If you want to watch again in this bulletin, please visit our website, kentotv.vn. And thanks for being with us. Goodbye and see you next time.